So Claudia Osri, who is also known as Girl With No Job on Instagram and has a massive following, was involved in the doxing of Taylor Lorenz. And this is a major problem when it comes to cancel culture and mob mentality that we need to address right now. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons that we can learn from them. And if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, in this video, we're going to be talking about cancel culture, mob mentality, the responsibility of influencers and all that. And for those of you who don't know, I recently just wrote a book called Cancelled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. There is a free version of that book available now at my website until the end of the month. So make sure that you grab yourself a copy if you haven't yet, all right? The links are down in the description, down in the pinned comments below, all right? So let me catch you up to speed on this story because this is a huge problem. And something I'm, I've been using my platform for is to speak out against cancel culture, mob mentality, crowd psychology is just a very, very scary thing. But anyway, so Taylor Lorenz, she is a phenomenal journalist. She just recently started working for, I believe the New York Post or is it the Times? One of those two. Taylor Lorenz is working for someone awesome in New York. <laughs> but anyways, Taylor specializes, um, well, her niche is like internet culture, right? Um, she was actually at VidCon, she was on, uh, she, she was uh, speaking there, and she talks about YouTubers and just different internet trends and everything like that, right? And I follow Taylor on, uh, on Twitter and I saw her talking about something that was going on with Girl With No Job. And I had no idea who Claudia Oshry, AKA Girl With No Job was. Uh, my girlfriend's heard of her Instagram account, but I started doing some research. But anyways, here's the series of tweets that Taylor sent out. Disappointing to see Girl With No Job, a racist influencer who docks my, my entire family, threatened me and harassed me out of my apartment and never once apologized for her racist Islamophobic tweets and posts is getting paid by Samsung now. Seriously, who approves this stuff? Girl With No Job is the daughter of extremist hate monger, Pamela Geller, by the way, and has espoused her racist views frequently over the years. When I wrote this story, she directed her army of fans to attack my entire family and tried to get my relatives fired. She never once apologized for her racism, doubled down in fact, and never once apologized to me. Her Facebook group is also up and running despite posting personal info like my parents' address and phone number in there for fans to use in their attacks. Anyway, cancel culture is toxic, but Girl With No Job leveraged her army of fans to viciously harass me, my entire family, for months because I wrote one story calling her out on her open history of racist, Islamophobic comments, hiding the fact that her mother runs a notorious hate group. So yeah, and this morning, um, Taylor Lorenz was actually interviewed or she did a little segment for a show that uh, uh, BuzzFeed runs over on Twitter. But yeah, we need to talk about this. Like this is insanity. And this is something like, I will keep bringing this up. And like, I, when I make videos, I try to make videos for you, the audience to learn from, right? And you know, just hopefully improve all of us as we go along. But I also feel it's a responsibility to speak up for other people like, you know, not, not speak up for Taylor, but also speak about subjects in which influencers or even journalists like Taylor might deal with. And this is huge for all of us because this is something that keeps happening. It keeps happening. So those of you who don't know what doxing is, doxing is releasing the private information, like address, phone number, place of employment, things like that, of somebody who doesn't necessarily want that public, right? So when you release the address of somebody, that's not okay. So I don't, I don't know the full story behind the doxing, so I don't know if it was necessarily Claudia Oshry who did this, but we need to talk about the responsibility of influencers, okay? So obviously, Claudia got upset with Taylor for Taylor writing this article, and here's the thing. Like, I will never tell people not to make videos about me, and there's plenty of nasty ones out there. I will never tell people not to criticize me. Like, that's part of the job. That's part of the gig. And then I have the the choice to either defend myself or just let it go and ignore it, right? But like we see this this kind of attack and sending 
your your army of fans at somebody. And this is something like Tristan and I, we were just watching um, another YouTube video, and this is something that we need to talk about when it comes to parasocial relationships, right? Like going out there and attacking on behalf of an influencer who I hate to say it, probably doesn't even know that you exist. All right, and I just put that out there because like, check your loyalty real quick. But when it comes to like Claudia, like we as influencers, those of us who have a platform, like this is our responsibility to denounce it, okay? So I recently put up a podcast episode up where I defend drama channels and commentary channels here on YouTube. Like I believe everybody has the right to vocalize their opinion, but and this came up at VidCon on multiple panels, like how much responsibility does an influencer have for their audience, right? And the most we can do sometimes is to like say no, like denounce that kind of behavior because that parasocial relationship, it works in a couple different ways, right? The people who might be in your audience wanna run out there and defend you and go attack other people, but they will also listen to you. So for example, in my book, Canceled, there are many people who I leave anonymous, but there are some people I name, but there are at least, I don't know, four or five, maybe more times in my book where I remind anybody reading that book to not go out there and send any hate towards anybody. All right, like that is just something that I am so against. And if I ever find out about anybody in my audience doing that, like I will denounce it like that. Like one of the stories that I talk about in my book, Canceled, is um, when I made, uh, <laughs> some of you know this video that I ended up deleting, but one of the reasons I made that video and I was so emotional was because the audiences of these other creators were doing insane, crazy things like messaging my girlfriend, threatening my mom. And like, when I see Taylor Lorenz going through this and like she, she talks about how they were like calling her aunt's place of employment, trying to get her fired. They, they knew like her parents' address. That is scary stuff, man. Like, do you guys remember the YouTuber Christina Grimmie who was murdered? Like, that is awful and it's terrible and it's scary. And all of us who come here to create and put content out there and put, share our views and opinions, like we do this for entertainment or education or to spread awareness or to speak about things that we believe in, all that stuff. But this is a very real thing that we all have to worry about. Like you guys, like we don't know which threats to take seriously. Like, do you guys understand I had people threatening to murder my mother. I had people threatening to sexually assault my mom, all right? Like, that is crazy. So when I see Taylor Lorenz going through this, when I was going through my own situation earlier this year, I legitimately went to the local police department to talk to them about this and told them that I was concerned. And I went through some other precautions to remove my address and all these other things. So like, you guys, this isn't always a problem with the influencers. I do think all influencers have a responsibility to tell their audience no the second these rumblings even come up that this might be happening. But a lot of this is the responsibility of the audience. Like, chill out, dial it back. And the last thing I'll say is this. Like, it's, it's really sad that we're living in a time where you can't even vocalize a differing opinion than other people without getting pure hatred. Like, how hard is it to be like, huh, I don't necessarily agree with that point of view and go on with your life. Like, I'm going to teach you a very valuable lessons today. Not everybody who disagrees with you is an awful, evil person. Sometimes people just have different opinions and views on things. Like you guys, we were all raised in a certain way. We were all raised in our own bubble. Like for example, I was raised on the West Coast, born in California, grew up in Las Vegas. That is much different than somebody who was born and raised in the Deep South. So we might have 
differing opinions. For example, I was not raised in a religious household. There are other people who were, so their views and opinions are going to be different than mine, all right? We can have calm conversations and disagreements without things going to the extreme and threatening people out there, all right? If you want to disagree with somebody, use your words. Like, we're not children, okay? But anyways, um, I'm sorry that Taylor has to go through this. If you want, uh, go check out, uh, I'm gonna link her article that started this whole thing. Uh, but you know, you can follow her on uh, social media as well. But let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you've seen this go too far with certain groups or communities, or if you have any suggestions on what you think influencers can do more of, you know, to try to rein in their audience if there is anything. That is something that I'm really interested in, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget my book, Cancelled, is available now and you can get a free copy of it until the end of the month, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And thank you to everybody else who supports the channel in other ways, like buying my books and merch and all that cool stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.